In this exercise, we're going to discuss the project files, some ways to create a new one, recommendations for it, and if you do happen to have to edit it. I used to teach this class at an Autodesk ATC, and they really wanted us to push hard on how the project files work and spend a lot of time on it. To me, it's very confusing to a new user. It's just too overwhelming. And more importantly, project files don't need to be messed with anymore. Originally, it was designed to be kind of on a per project basis. So if you design one widget, you'd make a project for it. And then if you designed uh, what's it, then you'd make a new project for the what's it. And you know each product line or whatever would have its own project file. Not true anymore. Because of Vault, everything should be managed by the Vault and you should only have one project file. So let's take a look. You'll notice that my project files are a mess. I have a bunch of them in here. That's because I work with different companies. I do separate out my projects by company. And that's fine. If you work with multiple companies, you can separate them out. If you're a job shop, though, and your daily experience is to work with five or six different companies, don't separate them out. This is only if you work completely separate. You know, everything has to be separated out. You know, then you can create separate ones. But if your day-to-day -day thing involves you working with three or four different things, don't separate these out. So let's get started with creating a new one. New project file, you just say new. If you work on a vault, get vault information from your CAD manager and set up your vault. If you're a single user, you're just learning, then you'd set up a new one. We'd say next. Project name. Because of this, I always make my project name my company name. I always try to put the information in an easy to find spot. And I try to keep it as close to the C level as possible. Usually an inventor working folder is fine. Or if you have a folder, you know, for vault, vault working folder. In this case, I have a folder called Inventor Working Folder. And inside of there, I'm going to say New Folder called the same thing as my project. Click on that, say OK. So now you can see my projects in my project folder. Say Next. If I have any libraries, I can bring over libraries. Say OK. So now my project is active. I can tell that it's a single user project. I can tell where it's at. I can see what libraries are associated with it. You know, here's the Inventor Material Library, the default Autodesk Material Libraries. I can see the actual Material Library. This is new to Inventor in the last couple of releases. I can see the workspace. You know, where am I going to be working out of? Right now it's set up to the default one. Folder options, this is my styles, like my dimension styles and things like that. I can decide where my templates are. And then I can see my options. You know, do I want to keep one old version? When you save in AutoCAD, you do the .bak files. In Binner, you can actually do more than one. I do like to do about three versions. That way, if I mess up, I've got it there. Use unique file names. I can decide what it's called. I can decide who an owner is, things like that. And then I can hit save. It says, hey, this is going to be migrated to the current release. So that means if you're working with somebody else and they have 2012 and you have 2013, you migrate the project file that everybody's using, everybody has to be on 2013. It's not a good environment to have mixed inventor users, especially if you use the vault. Try to keep everybody on the same level at the same time. So we'll hit OK here. So now I have my project. If I need to come back to a project that I've been using, just double click on it. And then I can come in here and I can start editing different folder options and standard bits and pieces of that. Because I don't have anything going on here, I can delete that one I just created if I wanted to. And then I can come in here and I can do what I want. My recommendations for project files, like I said, do not use more than one. Do not mess with the project file. This project file, the way it works is it holds all of the links between your parts and your assemblies and your drawings and your presentation files and how each one references into each other and how sub-assemblies are attached to assemblies. It houses all this and it also houses all of my files. You'll notice before I do have several folders underneath my infinite skills. For example, I'm back to my infinite skills project. I can change it here as long as I have nothing open. If I have a file open, once I open a file, I cannot change my project file until I close all files out. So I don't have anything open in the background, so I can change it back to my infinite skills. And I can have parts inside of folders. And I could have parts inside of folders inside of folders. And as long as it's under the parent of 
the project file, as long as it's under this parent folder, Inventor will find it. It doesn't matter how far down it goes. Now, technically, I think if you go down like 387 levels or something like that, Windows can't find it. You know, there is a certain depth you don't want to go, but more than likely, you're not going to be wanting to search for files, you know, more than three or four levels deep anyways. We'll show you real quick here. If I open up part here, and I try to change the project, I go back to projects and try to change the project, you can't do this while this is open. So you have to close everything out, and then you can actually change the project file. Like I said, I really highly encourage you do not change the project file. Use the default project file out of the box, or use the one your CAD manager uses. If you have a CAD manager at your office, more than likely, you'll have a, you know, your company name project file, or maybe Bob's project file, Bob's the CAD manager. Whoever is that head person, use that same project file. Ask them to email it to you. If you do get emailed a project file, close this out. Say projects, say browse. I suggest you put that project file under the folder you're going to want to use as your working folder. And then you can just copy it to that location, select it, say open. And then once you open it, it's automatically going to select it and you're good to go. Get that from somebody else, use theirs, and don't try to create your own. Like I said, at one time, Inventor did want this to be a true project file. Really and truly, this should be renamed to like your settings file. This is kind of the Inventor global settings. So if you ever have to change your settings, and I'm not talking about just dimension styles. You can have 100 different dimension styles in Inventor. One customer likes this dimension style and another customer likes that dimension style. You can control that underneath the same project. Only if you, you know, just have radically different styles that you have to use, would I suggest you switching these back and forth or you want to make sure that, you know, they can't share parts. You know, if, if you make parts for train air conditioning and you also make parts for carrier air conditioning and you want to make sure you don't accidentally let the other one know by copying files back and forth, then you could have separate projects. But for the most part, you're never gonna have to worry about that. I would suggest you use one project file for everything. That's the safest bet. It causes all kinds of problems in Vault and dogs and cats living together. If you get 20 or 30 projects going, you can't share information between those projects. It just kind of defeats the usefulness of Inventor. So I just really highly encourage you stick with one project file and get it from somebody else. If you're a newbie, Use the default or the designs project, or you can use this infinite skills one. I will make sure to include it in this chapter as well as in chapter one so that it is there for you to use if you want to. But like I said, try to stick with one. Don't jump back and forth too much and you should be good to go.